We're here in this warehouse at Plastics in Lemvik, and it's actually amazing to be surrounded by this material that actually was in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, and now it's here in Denmark. We're actually now starting the sorting process, which will be the start of our recycling, and we're creating all these different piles. So we're bringing some order into this very chaotic bags. We're passionate specialists. The sixth aim is to prevent fishing nets, trawls and ropes from ever entering the ocean. The ocean cleanup's aim is to ensure that the fishing nets, trawls and ropes that unfortunately have ended up in the ocean are retrieved and brought up on land. This is sharp. It's difficult with this because uh, it's, it's coming with, from the ocean from a long time and it's been together with some, some other stuff. Everything together and it's very hard to, to sort it out to, to see which kind of the material is it. It's all together and it's oh, very hard to get it out. As you can see, this rope is actually pretty nice. They went to get a scanning gun that will scan this rope to see what kind of material it's made out of. With this you can actually determine what polymer type it is and in this... HGPE? Um, HGPE? Yeah. Yes, it's HGPE. <laughs> We have the most HGPE and that's the material we want to use for our product, so that's great. Yeah, so the more we have, the better. It's already uh, the biggest pile in the, in the shed, so that's good. <laughs> We already filled five boxes. That's a good end of the day. Governments were debating how the latest coronavirus numbers were wide, 204 We've sorted the plastic and plastics, but that's as far as we got. We are always working with a tentative date, and this tentative date keeps um, unfortunately shifting forward. Six criteria for countries considering lifting control measures for the coronavirus. Yeah, so it's been a couple weeks since last time we talked, but uh, we got some good news last week. Today's the real day, so now they're really gonna recycle the material. Yep. Okay. Ready? Breaking the seal. I'm here watching the recycling from the office, which of course has to do with not uh, being able to travel as easily as we could. And then all of a sudden last week things started changing a little bit. So David, for making sure the chain of custody and everything goes well, he was able to travel to Denmark to assist the team there with the chain of custody. Especially with David there, I can see what's going on. So it actually feels like I'm there a little bit as well. To recycle those fractions, they will be going through the entire process of shredding, washing and then drying. And then the dried material will be extruded into granulate. And the granulates we will be using for next steps, so that can be turned into product. Any minute now. So... It looks pretty green. This is all the processed material. Now, final step is to lock and seal these doors to make sure nobody can open them. Seals are done. Locked. Hi. And we're done. This is the 
first ghost nets from the ocean in granulate form. The, it was good to actually see it here, see also that it looks good, it feels good, it's, uh, yeah, it's promising.